Karoma 14 inch scooter. We're going to take a look at this as soon as we get it assembled. Needs a charge. Charging. Heading for 35. Well, this is not what I expected to be doing today. I expected to be out in the shop. It's been raining and cold here. Tomorrow we're gonna have 60 mile an hour winds since it's not raining. Still cold, but it's not raining. The sun was out a minute ago, but I see it's not now. Anyway, we're gonna take this brand new Karoma P5 adult size electric scooter out for a test ride. This will be the first twist of the throttle over here on the right. Turn on the headlights and the tail light. It's got 14 inch tires, 750 watt motor with 1200 watt peak power i'm kind of excited so let's go give it a shot Well, that was easy. I've got another little scooter with 12 inch tires and a 350 watt motor. And it had a heck of a time getting up out of my driveway. This did not. This is supposed to go up to 20 miles an hour. I'm only running about half throttle now. Now you might notice the gauge over here on the right. That's a battery gauge and nothing else. That's all it has, no speedometer. Just the battery gauge. All right, full throttle here. I don't know how fast we're going. Feels like 15, 16. It's quiet as all get out. Wow, it is quiet. got dual disc brakes wow it's it's well it's a lot of fun that's what it is so far it's got a nice wide deck down here for your feet on that other little scooter I had to kind of put one foot in front of the other because the, the deck was narrower that's a nice scooter but this isn't about that, That's, this is about this. Karoma, C-A-R-O-M-A, -A, Karoma P5. They have several models, ranging from under $300 to, I think this one is around $400. I'm not entirely certain. We'll see how it does going up this hill here. Yeah, it's not, it's not slowing down any. That's where that 1200 watt peak power comes in. When you need it, it's there. If you're just cruising along on a flat surface, you're using 750 or up to 750. Another reason I picked today, because it's not raining, is uh, because I also got out here. It's not quite two o'clock in the afternoon. On a Monday, everybody's at work. No traffic, no school buses. See how these brakes work. Dual mechanical disc brakes. Oh boy, oh yeah. Yep, they work. They work very well. <laughs> yeah, everything I do on here, just touch the brakes, just touch the throttle, it all works. Headlights on, tail lights on. I got my lighted helmet on, my ex Nito lighted helmet. Nice helmet. Boy, it's not slowing down going up this hill a little, at all. Got bigger e bikes that won't do that. 
Of course, you can't help it. You can't help it along if it needs it on a hill or something. No pedals. It's a scooter. It's not an e-bike. It's a scooter. Oh, yeah. It has dual suspension. Front suspension forks and rear double shock absorbers. I'm not going to try that hill. That one's very steep and I got e-bikes that won't make it up there even if you do pedal. But we'll go this way. Picking up speed coming up this hill, which is a, a pretty good size hill. So quiet. I don't see any cars behind me looking over my shoulder, so we'll come up here and take a right. Assembly was easy. Install the handlebars, install the seat, install the basket, this little bell, and that reflector right there in the center, and that was it. It seems to be adjusted properly. It's all nice and tight. I don't hear any rattles. Everything works. I'm gonna take a left. Hmm. Nothing coming. We'll go over here. I don't I don't know if there's much of a view. Maybe some bright clouds or something. Wow. <laughs> it just takes right off. Well, we're looking west here. And that's where our weather comes from, from the Pacific Ocean. And you can see it's pretty dark and gray out there. There's a little little sun over here to my left. So I'm not looking forward to a windstorm where I live. It's not that, it's not that much fun. I like them when I go to the ocean, spend the night. There's no trees to fall on me. Nice big windstorm, watch those waves, that's wonderful. Oh, there's our first school bus. And our second and our third. It's getting to be time, I guess. This is the quietest motorized vehicle I've been on. I think the only noise I hear is the tires on the road. That's it. I should have slapped a mirror on here before I left. I knew that. Going up a hill from a dead stop. And it's picking up speed. Very impressed. I know we already covered this way, but well, we'll take a we'll take a different route. Last time I turned left here, we'll go straight. Probably a lot of wind noise. That wind is really picking up right now. Not supposed to be bad until tomorrow, but it's it's blowing pretty chilly. This is beautiful downtown Bonnie Lake. <laughs> Just beautiful, isn't it? I'm gonna take a left right here and go up on this sidewalk, I guess. Push and button stuff. 
Thai restaurant across the street there and I'm telling you what, it smells pretty good to me. Here we go. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. I don't think I've ever taken you this way before. It goes up and down these driveway hills real easily. No bumping around. I think we'll go down here. And we'll stay on this sidewalk for a minute. Boy, this is perfect for just kind of running around town like this. You, you can go anywhere, you can fit anywhere. Maybe I'll run into this apartment lot. I don't know anything about it, never been in here before. Lots of apartments, that's for sure. Huh. They go on forever. Well, I guess not forever. I think there's a trail over there. There is. I don't know how you get on it. I'd like to know how you get on it and where it goes. This is just so much fun. It's so comfortable. It's a nice wide seat. The seat is not adjustable in height or in any manner at all. It's a fixed position. I'm kind of I'm kind of looking for the entrance to that trail so I'm going to I'm probably going to go in and out here a little bit. Hi. Is that a trail over there right there? I think so, yeah. You have to get at it from the highway it looks like. I think it's I think you can get at it from at the entrance. Up that way, okay. I think so. Yeah, I don't know. It does look like it. You're right. Thank you very much. All right. Well, this could be very exciting. We've got a nice, big, beautiful trail. Go ahead. Down in the valley, but you got to get there. And it's a big, steep hill on a 55 mile an hour highway to get down to the valley. And then, of course, you got to get back up that big, steep hill. I think we might be coming to the entrance to that trail. I don't know how I missed it on the way in here. I think it's right there. I think it's right here. I don't see a name on it. Well, how cool is this? Oh, well, now we got a, a corner. Is this a hill? I think this is right back there where that guy in the truck was. Yep. You were right. Uh, 
Well, this is for sure something. I didn't even know it existed. Whoa, that was a that was a bump. Oh, dang it, look at that. What kind of deal is that? Well, that was a good idea while it lasted. It looks like the trail is on the other side of that, but I don't know how you get there from here. Whoa. See, the highway's right down there. I guess. Well, I hear it, but I don't see any cars. But it's there. Well, that was almost really groovy. Watch out for that big bump, whatever it was. I don't know. Oh, right there, a big root coming up under the trail. Yeah, there's the highway. I'm trying to figure it out if I can get down here. No parking. Well, I'm not gonna park. Oh, look at here. Okay. Well, one of these days we're gonna come this way and go left, but today we're gonna go right. Cause it's cold, baby, it's cold. Yeah, this is, this is plenty fun. Plenty fun. Uh oh, copper. Bonnie Lake's finest. Just going right up this hill. No problem. Holding speed. Not losing anything yet. I'm gonna get out here in the road. Because if you don't, then there's a big, there's a big dip in the sidewalk. Well, actually, the sidewalk ends, I guess. Just like that Shel Silverstein book, where the sidewalk ends. Right there, and it's a big bump. Well, we tested the brakes, we tested the speed as best we could. We went places we've never been before. It's freezing cold, so I'm going home and we'll finish this up. Looks like it's fixing to rain again. Well, I was going to try and do this outside, but my teeth were chattering, so I'm going to do it inside. This is the Karoma P5. It's got up to a 30 mile range. 48 volt, 10.4 amp hour battery, located right under the footrest. Takes five hours for a full charge. Of course, less time for that if it's not fully discharged. 750 watt motor, rear hub motor right back here. 750 watts, 1200 watt peak. And I believe it, this thing really performed. It's got a 300 pound load capacity with 30 pounds in the large rear basket. I was way wrong on the price. They come in black, white, or gray. This is the gray. I'm not sure if that's showing up in here. 
It's a nice, pleasant gray color. So they go from $209.99 to $439.99. This one, fully equipped the way it is. Fenders, lights, comfortable wide seat. That, that was very comfortable. I was quite comfortable on this. Got the reflector. The handlebars do fold down. I don't know if I can do this one-handed. I don't think so. You lift this up, lift it up, pull it down, then move it over, fold them back. So you should be able to get that in the back of a SUV at least, in the trunk of your car easily. And you just lift it back up, put the clamp in place, and lock it down. Easy peasy. There's the front forks with suspension. And back here, you have dual shock absorbers. And they work. This cylinder here moves down into this cylinder here. And that was quite comfortable while I was riding it. It's got mag wheels, so no spokes. Disc brakes that stop nicely, quickly, nicely, comfortably. No jerking about. Nice bright headlight. Tail light with brake light. I don't know what else you could want. Well, okay. I wish it did have a speedometer. This is the only gauge on the machine right here. But other than that, I just had a ball on it. As cold as it was, it didn't really matter that much. I was having way too much fun. I could easily get this inside my motorhome. So for $329, wow. It weighs about, I think around 60 pounds, 50, 58 pounds, something like that. You know, it's so quiet, you could use this in a campground anywhere. You wouldn't bother anybody. It's just a really cool, fun electric scooter, and I highly recommend it. So I'll put links down in the description for you. They're on Amazon. So there you go. I hope you liked the video. It was really fun for me to do. New wood turning video tomorrow. So for now, this is Phil. Shady Acres Woodshop, signing off.